Oh, I think I did this stage in the uh, Citroen C4 DLC cart. Uh, oh, I want this way. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. What's going on guys, my name is Batidio and welcome back to Dirt Rally 2.0 and episode 7 of my career mode series. So, as you can see we have reached the halfway point of our first season and uh, this time out we're going to be heading to uh, New England to take in the first of a uh, first two stages of a four stage event and hopefully get the uh, get the the season back on track because as you can see uh, we're currently fourth. Uh, we're only 11 points behind the leader as things stand. However, we have had two really good opportunities to win our first rally and in both occasions it's the second half of the event that has screwed us over uh, if you remember from last episode last two stages in spain we had a 26 second lead going into the final two stages stage three didn't tell us it was damp he said it was cloudy it was overcast it wasn't raining but the track was just absolutely soaking and we were on dry tires so yeah uh, that didn't help um so Hopefully, this time out in New England, we're going to have a better time of it, and we can actually, uh, we can actually get that first win. So, let's jump into it. So, we do have some uh, repairs to make to the car, as you would imagine. Um, we'll do that. Um, we'll do that, and the lights as well. God, I'm just gonna. I don't know why I just I don't just buy lights in bulk because I'm going to keep breaking them. Uh, let's just confirm the repairs. Uh, right then, so, uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it and uh, get the first stage underway. So, here we are then, New England, and the first um, the first stage has the North Fork Pass. 7.7 uh, .7 miles, 187 feet of elevation change. Uh, start time is uh, 2.30 in the morning, but it's dry. Yay, I guess. Uh, medium gravel and heavy gravel. So this is going to be an interesting one, because um, we know what it's like in the dark. I don't have a whole lot of fun with it. And there's a lot, there's a quite a lot of, you know, uh, tree cover and canopy cover around here. So whatever ambient light there may be around, we're not going to get any of it. So this is going to be a challenging one, uh, to say the least. Um, so, I mean, look at that. I can't see anything. Uh, look, there's a tree and beyond the tree, I see nothing. Um, so, yeah. So, um, the car is repaired. Um, in terms of tyres, it's got us on the mediums at the moment um so we're going to stay with them because it's quite a longish stage um so yeah um let's uh let's get it started uh we're starting 147th in the uh, the running order uh we're currently fourth in the championship so second half of the season let's get it kicked off and um hopefully the second half will be a bit better than the first half So, the time to beat is an 8 minute 40 for this first stage. Oh, thankfully, actually, about to say, I sort of know where I'm going with this first part of it. It's the back end. I'm not sure where we're going. Oh, Christ almighty. God, this thing won't turn. Oh, this is tricky. I can't wait to get out of the front wheel drive cars and into the four wheelers. God, I'm so used to going through this a hell of a lot faster. I did this in a Group B Metro. Come on, come back, come back. Get off there. Oh, shit. See, it just... I don't know what happened there. 
it just wouldn't go where I wanted it to at all. It's like, come on, turn. Crushed on my head. It's just drifting all over the shop. I just trust nothing at this point. Oh god, this is a bloody arm workout, this one. So much understeer, and then it just turns to horrible oversteer and it just starts weaving. I have to take a slow and steady wins the race sort of mentality for this one. And just focus on being consistent and not breaking the car. So we're eight seconds off, but we are in second place as things stand. Horrible bump on the inside there, which pitched us wide. Oh god, come back to me first. going to really be a horrible challenge. Oh god, I'm a moron. Oh god. I just I just heard that as right for some reason. I don't know why. Hairpin right. I know there's another hairpin corner coming a bit further this way. Down the bottom of here. There it is. Oh, stop it. Oh, we made a right meal of this. Uh, come on. We've actually caught up a little bit, which is weird. Oh god, my wheel stand's starting to move around a bit. From that fucking fence. Christ. 
Let's have a look. There it is. That's what I was looking for. I said I didn't know the back side of it, but I do, but it's just I know it going the other way. Gotta stay flat here, there's a right hand up. After you get through these trees, there it is. Catch it up a little bit. Down to five seconds to gap. from the end now. So we called it back a little bit and the car is relatively unscathed thankfully. So second place. So second place for stage one. Um, not bad. No, oh, sorry third place. Uh, somebody came and pipped us. So we're five seconds back at the moment. Uh, we did have an eight second penalty which kind of screwed us because we would have won the stage otherwise. Um, looking at the split times. Um, Okay through the first one, yeah. Okay through the second one, uh, pretty much matching the guys around or the top guys uh, in uh, sector or split three, uh, split four again, pretty much matching them, um, and then um, same again there, same again there, S bit quicker in split seven, and again same again. So it's close, it's close. So. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's move on, shall we, um, to stage number two. So I'm going to get that all set up. Hopefully it'll be the daytime and, um, and things will be a bit easier for us. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay then, guys. So on to stage two. And this time it's the Hancock Hill Sprint Forward. 3.73 miles, 190 uh, feet of elevation change there. Uh, 12.45, so it's going to be a daytime stage and it is dry. So the gods are smiling down upon us. Uh, medium gravel, heavy gravel. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get to the end of the stage and uh, claw back that, uh, that two second or that five second gap to the leader. And... Um, Hopefully get ourselves um, a win. So, 4 minutes 50 is the time to beat. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, Ooh that wasn't good. Of a crest. Keep middle of a one fifty. Caution. Four 
Right then, through the first split, where are we going to be? Yeah, that was dark. And six right. Dirty. Up by two seconds. Corners are a bit tasty, aren't they? Sudden turn two right, 80. Turn one right long of a double junction. <sighs> Opens into six and one turns. Turn heavy now. Was a challenging section. But we're up by ten seconds. Oh god, enough with the hairpins. by 17 seconds so we're doing very well at the moment. I think I did this stage in the uh, Citroen C4 DLC car. No, oh, I want this way. Oh, oh shit! Oh god damn it! Oh, we were so close as well. Shit! Uh, oh, that really cost us. Oh, we were doing so well. Ah, oh, we were doing so well. Shut up, bro! I'm tired of you talking. <sighs> well, we were doing really well. Finished ninth. Ah, oh, so annoying. We were 17 seconds up. And then we got an eight second penalty, and then it just went to crap. Let's just have a look at the split. So, um, comfortably ahead, I'd say, well, we were at least a couple of seconds ahead um, in the first sector. Second sector, we were, you know, we're doing okay again. Uh, third sector, again, okay. And then an 18, but the other guys were doing 56s. Wow. Okay, that's where it all went then. Um, so, yeah, that accident really cost us. Um, I mean, if we minus that. Eight seconds, get rid of that eight seconds there. Um, we still would have finished. 
maybe around second. We might have just pipped second, I think. We would have just done that. And then we would have been our way back. So, yeah, uh, that's very, very disappointing. Um, so what it means is now we are a long way back now. We're nearly uh, nearly 22 seconds back on Jay King in that Mini Cooper. So, yeah. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge to try and uh, reel it back in, I think. Um, but, yeah. So uh, that is the uh, the end of... Um, that's the end of today's episode, guys. So uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this and you would like to see more uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 or general racing content from myself, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, also, let me know in the comments, guys. Um, how are you getting on your careers? Are you enjoying it? Are you still in the H1 class? Have you moved up and do you have any recommendations for cars going forward let me know guys always happy to hear from you uh, but again thank you so much for watching stay cool and as always i will catch you in the next video peace